<laughs> Every night, to cram in as much learning as possible, I read a book while simultaneously listening to a completely different audio book. <laughs> David's <team. laughs> OK, what was the last book and audio book simultaneously you read and listened to? It was Trevor Montague's A to Z, this is the book, Trevor Montague's A to Z of Everything, which is the absolute bible of general knowledge. And it was the Guinness Book of Records audio book, but not for this year, but they do, they do for every year since 1956 when it was founded. And I have an obsession with 1984. Why? Why do you do two together? Why? And, ca and can you actually feed and re retain the information? Well, can you is, is the question I can't really answer, because general knowledge is basically about learning as many facts as possible and then hoping they come up. But I only really do this in the two to three weeks before any major general knowledge quiz. Because you're um, a big quizzer. I'm a big... I'm the fifth-ranked quizzer in the United Kingdom, which is... All right, all right, don't boast. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, the other four, they listen to one, read one, and they've got one on Braille as well. <laughs> Oh, can I ask you a question? Yes. Can you give me three Guinness World Records from 1984, please? I'll give you one that still stands. Robert Pershing Wadlow is the tallest man of all time, eight feet, 11 and three quarters. I knew one that. One that doesn't stand, that was stood in 84, is the previous year Calvin Smith broke the world record for the 100 metres just before the World Athletics Championships with 9.9. I didn't three understand seconds. a word you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to answer your question. Uh, and the third one is, in 1984, Ronald Reagan beat Walter Mondale in the largest percentage of the vote, something like 73.6% of the vote... Is that true? ..when he beat Walter Mondale in the US presidential election. Why are you asking us? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm very flattered that you think I know about American elections in that much statistical detail. Who was number one in the charts in November 1984? Flef, 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 flex. Well, that was actually May. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're making it up. So it was Chuck Khan, I feel for you, with a with a um, harmonica by Stevie Wonder, a rap by Melly Mel, written by Prince. Oh, Chuck Khan, I feel for you, is number one in November yeah. 1984. This is not a genuine There's no evidence if that's true at all. Which Stewart song was a number one in 1984? Do you mean Baby Jane, 1983? Yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I really feel even more stupid that I couldn't add two and one. <laughs> Where do you do this, Paul? <laughs> well, I only live in a two-bed flat. There's not many choices. So you do it at home? You don't I do go... Oh, yeah, I do it absolutely at home. All right. Can I just I, say, I, I, you said there was two bedroom, not many choices. I think you'll find there's not many options. There's only one choice. <laughs> Look, when someone in the pub is trying <laughs> to fight someone who's a bit bigger than they are. I'm going to hold you back from this. What was the other book again? Uh, Trevor Montague's A to Z of Everything, if one's allowed to uh, advertise on a BBC TV show. It's, uh, it was well, I think we should say other impenetrably boring books are about. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, David, what's what it going to be? Mary? Well, I believe him. I do. I just think <laughs> it sounds very boring. And, and I don't think you are. <laughs> um, so, therefore, I think it's the truth. I think he's lying. I think he's coming at me with facts to confuse me. <laughs> 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 and this is what they do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go lie. You're going to say it's a lie. Yeah. Paul, were you lying or were you telling the truth? It was a lie. Oh. oh. <laughs>